little quick shout out to uh, Tammy over at Nugget Shooterette. Um, she had some stickers made up and happened to send me one. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I think she's a great channel. Um, she does a lot of gold prospecting, um, panning and um, dry washing and detecting and yeah, just an overall great channel. And yeah, a lot of, she's even had a few different episodes on there and some great recipes. Um, her and her dog Bruno and Bill Southern, they pretty much do it all out there in the desert and it's fun to watch them. So if you get a chance to check out Nugget, Nugget Shooterette, um, I'll leave her link in the description and I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. So anyway, thank you. Thanks, Tammy. I sure appreciate the sticker. Have a great day. Back out at Buffalo Park. And just trying to see what all I can find and kind of clear areas so I can mess with my sittings a little bit. And had a really tight low or high signal. And look what I got. Mercury Dime. Awesome. I was going to head home, but I think I'll stay out here for just a little bit. Got a couple hours before it's dark. I popped the plug in, I can see it, and it was giving a nickel signal to see if it's a buffalo. Come on, oh, shotgun head stamp. You got me, son of a gun. Oh well, let's keep digging. That was giving a good signal. Oh, it's broken, darn. That would have been really cool. It's still cool, but it would have been awesome to find hole. Wow. What's it say on it here? Number. Oh, the numbers broke off. It'll still display nice. It's a half of one. Pretty cool find. Awesome. Not that deep, but it was giving a really iffy penny signal. It's a mercury dime. Really worn. Clean it up and take a look at it when we get home. It might be a really early date. Awesome. Keep on hunting this park. I'm going to have to rename it from Buffalo Park to Mercury Park here pretty soon. That's awesome. Deep signal. Pocket knife. Looks like it's in pretty decent shape and it should clean up pretty nice. Can't wait to get it home and see what it looks like. That was a deep one. Sure gave a nice signal. Well, a little piece of city property, and I've got, looks like silver. Absolutely my first. That is, it's a walking liberty. Holy shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, I'll beep that out. Oh crap, let me clean it up. I'll get right back. Show you the year. 1944. I'll clean that up when we get home better. I don't want to scratch it all up. Oh, my very first. I love it. Bucket lister. We got a watch. 
Sorry for the wind noise, but that's the first watch I've ever found. On the other corner of that stone building from where I found that 44 half. Cool, that's pretty neat. Well, right over there is where I found the half, and I just had a good silver signal, and I got shiny. Let me clean it up, hold on a second. It's a Roosevelt, but it's silver. I'll take it. Awesome. And it's a buffalo. Clean it up and see if we can get a date when we get home. <laughs> Am I on fire? Am I on fire? Yeah, you're on fire. <laughs> I have a quick apology as I was trying to make this. I've noticed that uh, when I think I'm videoing out in the field, I'm actually just either taking a quick snapshot picture or not doing anything at all. So the few clips that I have are what you get, and the rest I'll explain here in a second. <laughs> My bad. I'm still learning, I guess. Going over my finds from the last couple weeks. Um, some of it you've seen, some of it you haven't. Um, I did go on a hunt with my brother in uh, southwest Wisconsin metal detecting here oh, a couple weeks ago over in Wisconsin. And I didn't film a lot that day. I didn't actually film anything that day. The wind was just terrible. The weather was terrible. And it was just, I was trying to just enjoy the time I had with Steve from southwest metal detecting and my brother. So some of the things I found there um, that day, I found a uh, a reed. I found a tag, not sure if it's a dog tag or not. It does say something under there. I hope to get it cleaned off a little bit better so I can kind of make out what it is. I'll, I'll pop up a picture as soon as I set it back down so you can take a look at it and tell me what you think it is and maybe any suggestions on how to clean it up. Um, I did find a, a mercury dime. Found two buffaloes, um, which I thought was really cool. And I found four Wheaties. Um, then I went out with uh, a couple different times in what I'm starting to call Buffalo Park, but I may have to change the name to, to Silver Park. It's a hunted out park that's just full of trash. It's been in a bunch of my different videos, and I just keep finding stuff there in amongst the trash. I think I do have a clip in there where I, I dug a shotgun shell head stamp. I don't usually keep them, um, but since it was filmed, I put it in there. Got a little locket piece or... Just a little uh, jewelry piece. It does look like it might come open. I don't know what to do there yet with that. Really neat old buckle. I'll pop some of this stuff up in some photos. Um, I think I did film the knife when I dug it up. I think it's a it's an all metal knife. Um, the way it's not corroded or broke, and it's really heavy, but I uh, thought that was actually kind of cool. Um, this, I'm not sure what it is. It's, uh, it's like a piece of slag or something, but it's like it's made out of bronze. It's it's heavy. I'm not really sure what that is. Um, a button. This half a crota bell, which was a, a heartbreaker for me. Um, yeah, something that, yeah, I'd like to find a nice big one like that. Really neat. Seems like my brother always finds those when we go out. This, I was calling it a watch fob. I'm not sure now that it is. I just, I'm not sure what it is. But I, I don't think it's a watch fob by the attachment point up there. It could just be a, an older key fob or something, but yeah. 
I'm not thinking it's a watch fob. Now that I'm looking at it like this, so it does look like there might be some writing under there. Or that this might be the dot sticking through. I'll have to have to look at that a little closer later. Um in that park I found some more silver. Found the dimes. And that's a nice old worn mercury. That was that last one I dug there at the park, I think. That was that was really worn. And I do believe that was sitting in there at kind of an angle and kind of straight up and down instead of laying flat. Then this was yesterday. Uh, me and my brother went and checked out a, a new park and it was loaded with clad. I did pull a 50 cent piece out of the one camping area. Um, I was kind of checking that area over for possibly jewelry. I've still yet to get a gold ring or anything. So it's kind of hoping. So that gave a really good high signal. And I was like, ooh, I found another 50 cent piece. That's two months in a row that I found a 50 cent piece. Um, and we were on the way home and happened to stop and check out a piece of city property in a town kind of near us. And as soon as I started swinging, that was actually my first find there. And I, I couldn't believe it. It's It's been something that I, I've been wanting to find. I thought I would find, but... I didn't expect it yesterday. So I actually technically found two 50 cent pieces yesterday, but this is a beauty and it's in great shape. Um, washed it up a little soapy water and it looks awesome. Also found a, a rosy and a buffalo nickel. As you can see there, it's got a good date and a wheat penny. So I had to toothpick this one a little bit just to try and get a date off it. So you can kind of probably see the toothpick marks on there. And so that's what I've been up to for the last few weeks. Um, just a, a bunch of random stuff and one great bucket luster. That's awesome. Um, this year has been full of a bunch of short hunts. Um, just whenever I can get out. And it's paying off though. I've been having a phenomenal year. So I can't complain at all. And I was I was a little upset that I wasn't getting out and getting some door knocks in. But these public parks are, they pay off. So anyway, thanks everybody for watching and tuning in. I appreciate it. Thanks uh, Southwest Metal Detecting. Um, Steve over there for um, tagging along with me and my brother on the one hunt. And thanks to Nugger Sh Nugget Shooterette for uh, the awesome sticker that I had at the beginning. Um, I really appreciate it. I'll throw some pictures up um, somewhere mixed into the video of all the finds. And anyway, everybody have a great, safe day. Happy hunting. Take care. Good luck. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Just a big shout out to uh, Heavenly Scratchers for the awesome win. Um, they PayPal'd me twenty dollars cash for uh, one of their giveaways they had just not too long ago, and I. I really appreciate it. Um, they always support my channel and watch my videos, and I try to watch all theirs, too. They're usually just nice little short videos of them uh, scratching some lottery tickets, and <laughs> it's so surprising how many times they win. That's awesome. And I just want to say thanks again. Um, appreciate it. Have a great day.